Welcome to another Dulwich HK Leong video. Today, this video will be all about my new gaming headset, the Steel Series Actus Pro Wireless. And here it is. First, I will go through how to set it up for Xbox, then PS4, and also three Xbox 360. Here we go. Alright. This the thing on top of the Xbox is the transmitter unit. I have already set it up so that Xbox 360, Xbox One and PS4 optical cable go into this optical selector. I can use this and I can choose which one goes into the transmitter. As for the transmitter, press this, you select the source, leave it at PS4. And that will be enough to connect your Xbox One, Xbox 360 and PS4 game module into the transmitter and go to the headset. As for the settings for Xbox One, you go under display and sound, go to audio output, select select optical audio, select bitstream out, bitstream format, you select Dolby Digital. Then you go to your headset. On this side, this part that comes out, this one is the power button. Turn it on, white LED will blink, and you get your game audio. Now you will ask, how do I get chat audio as well? The answer is very simple. You use your Android phone. Download the Xbox app. You sign into your account. You go to chat. Sorry, I mean party. You can start a party. But then you pair the headset by Bluetooth to this smartphone. You press the other button. The one that goes in and has the Bluetooth symbol on it. You turn it on, press. Blue LED show us, shows up. Turn on Bluetooth on the smartphone. Party called go to party control. You change the audio device. Change it to Bluetooth device. And that means it will auto connect to your Steel Series Actus Pro Wireless. As you can see, I'm already connected in the party. Now, when you play a game on your Xbox One, you receive a party invite, you accept it from the app, and you'll be in the party. You'll find that the audio for your chat will be clearer than before. Next, I will show you how to set it out on the PS4. I've already turned on my PS4. So I go to my, op my HDMI switch. Okay, PS4 all turned on.
the connection for the PS4 is different. Inside the box that comes with the headset, you will find the USB audio cable transmitter to PS4 or PC. You use this cable, you connect it to one of the USB port for your PS4. This one is a PS4 Slim. That means does not have a optical output on the console itself. But that's not a big problem. You use something called a HDMI audio extractor. Now this is just one of the many out there. Basically it takes the input from your PS4 which will be at this left hand side it goes in you extract the optical audio surround sound to the optical out this optical out I have already connected to my audio optical audio selector all I have to do is just turn the switch Connect. Oops. Turn the switch and connect. The audio from PS4 optical out from the extract HDMI audio extractor hidden inside will go into here and go into the transmitter. There's no need to change the source at all. That that will be it for the game audio. Now just now the USB cable I show you this cable is mainly for the mic audio unless you don't want to connect the optical cable at all then this cable will supply the stereo sound and chat audio to the headset now I go on to the setting for the PS4 Please hang on, it's not easy to do this with one hand. Alright, go inside settings. Sound and screen. Go to audio output setting. Audio format, you select Bitstream Dolby. Go to your devices, audio devices. You see that the headset is already connected. Now the setting will be this one. You output to the headset chat audio. This setting is related to the USB that you connect from your PS4 to the transmitter. If you only connect the USB cable, you will select all audio to go into it. But right now we are making the best of the optical surround sound and check audio from the USB. Okay, so you may ask, what if I have a PC? How do I connect this thing? For the PC, you use back the same USB audio cable and connect it to your PC to go in the transmitter box. Alright, I have already covered how to set it up, how I run it. Lastly, I'll tell you how I feel about the headset. Well, the price is not cheap, but you're getting an extremely good product. This is possibly the best product out there. All the gunshots, your surround sound, you can even take this thing out, connect it to your smartphone, 
with either a mobile cable or Bluetooth and you can listen to audio on it. Other than that, you can even use the mobile audio cable to connect straight to your Xbox One controller. Yes, this thing even works wired. But the wireless way is why we want to get this and why we want to spend all that money. Now, there are people who have asked me, how does this differ from the Arctis 7? Well, the build quality is definitely much better for the Pro. You don't hear any creaking, cracking sound when you adjust the headset because there's a lot more metal in the head, in the body of the headset. The Arctis 7, 3 and 5 was made for at a lower budget. What you get with it is the dongle for the trans transmitter and also the mobile audio cable. You can't do more like this transmitter box. You can adjust the Bluetooth volume. You can see the chat mix. How much game audio, how much chat audio. It even has an equalizer. You can set how you want your sound to sound like. So far, leaving it at just balance was really fantastic already. You also don't have to ever worry about battery. There's one charging inside right now. It even shows your headset got how much power. Okay, I think that's it for this Dulish HK Leon video. I hope this was useful. Hope you like it. If you like it, do give it a like, please. And I see you next time when I got something worthy to show. This is Dulish HK Leon, signing out.